From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. It begins tomorrow. The House debate on the government's budget for the coming fiscal year. Finance Minister Prime Minister Minnis is going to start that debate, reiterating what he said in last week's communication. As we prepare for the year ahead, this new budget represents our plan to move from restoration to growth. It will build upon a new foundation and accelerate our national recovery in the process. We are still contending with grave uncertainty today, but my administration's ultimate objective has not changed. We may have been diverted, but our direction is still clear. The budget expected to take up to three weeks to get through Parliament in time for the start of the new fiscal year on July 1st. Health officials continue to monitor the coronavirus numbers for Andros, Scott Island, and the Berry Islands as lockdowns continue in those areas. The numbers for Sunday have been released now. Six new cases for Cat Island, five for Andros, none for the Berry Islands, but cases reported for Grand Bahama and Bimini. 53 total cases for Sunday, 40 of them in the capital. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. No other coronavirus-related deaths reported for Sunday. That total remains at 230, but there is concern about the hospital numbers. 55 persons still being treated, five of them in the ICU. Health officials continue to urge persons to get vaccinated. Police working the latest murder case, the fatal shooting of a man here in the Capitol late Sunday night. The body of 35-year-old Alfred Lightburn Jr. found on Washington Street with gunshot wounds. Police say they're following leads in the ongoing investigation. Two men in custody after drug agents find an estimated $1 million worth of marijuana on a boat in the Exuma Keys. The men arrested at the end of a short boat chase. Some good news for tourism. British Airways has now resumed direct flights to the country after being away for a while because of the coronavirus situation, partially reopening the European market. Immigration Minister Johnson says the country has nothing to hide in response to that United Nations visit to the Carmichael Road Detention Center on the farm Shanty Town in Abaco. Now into the hurricane season, officially started today. We have already had the first name on the list, Anna. The season expected to be relatively active, with as many as 19 storms predicted. The next one will be Bill. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. The Tribune's Overnight Accu Weather Update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. That frontal system stationary across Florida sending some weather this way. Mostly cloudy tonight, showers around, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 74 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet overnight. Next night is a low around 8 this evening. Wednesday's forecast, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s. No systems in the tropics. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader, 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, the Tribune, the people's newspaper. Or news headlines are some countries prepare to come out of the coronavirus due to vaccination. Others continue to struggle with surges, including China, which is now dealing with the Indian variant spreading in some areas of that country. Vietnam is among the other countries dealing with surges now. China is also reporting the first case of the H10N3 bird flu in a person. World health officials are monitoring that situation while still dealing with the coronavirus. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV tonight. There's soccer, Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins starting a series beginning today with the Toronto Blue Jays. The NBA playoffs continue tonight. DeAndre and the Suns home for Game 5 against the Lakers. That'll be on TV. There is tennis. The French Open now in its first week. John Quell Jones and the Sun playing home tonight in the WNBA against the Las Vegas Aces. 
She is listed as a game time decision. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.